Online shopping has taken over as the global pandemic has kept everyone at home. While its ease of use makes it perfect for grocery shopping or finding some new clothes, those looking at buying a new Xbox or PS5 have a more difficult experience. Four months after the release in early November, the new consoles are still hard to get and seems like they sell out in seconds. Orange County resident Spencer Blair was able to get a hold of a brand new Xbox Series S. Yes. Xbox yeah. Series S. Um, yeah, so I wanted the new PS5 super bad and um, af after trying for days on end, you know, reserving spots at Walmart, Best Buy, multiple times, like I just could never get my hands on one. So I had to turn to um, like eBay or Craigslist, um, offer up places that I might get it. And by then the price was well over a thousand dollars. And eventually after waiting a few months and becoming tired of the whole process, I, uh, I actually got an Xbox Series S, which is the, uh, the $300 version of the Xbox, um, the next gen Xboxes. I didn't even get an X because the S's are $500 now, you know, as much as the X is supposed to be. And the big question is, why are they selling for so much money? And why are they so hard to get? You had people who had bots, which were automated systems, buying mm -hmm. the consoles within seconds before a normal person yeah. could, could buy. The use of bots makes so every release sell out in less than a minute. They are a familiar foe to Spencer. Well, first time I heard about them was actually back in 2015 on with uh, clothing websites such as supreme.com or, or even adidas when they released the first yeezys i remember um essentially people will program these bots which are essentially ais with their credit card information beforehand and um within seconds these bots will just fill out everything and purchase and they'll purchase 10 if they tell them to and uh that's why you see essentially it became um a reselling game with the the consoles mm -hmm. no one i know got them from the stores and everyone had to pay double the price at least at least double the price while the retail price of the new ps5 ranges from 400 to 500 dollars and the xbox being 300 to 500 dollars Resellers use of bots make the asking price of a new console way too high for the average consumer Forcing people to open their wallets or trying to beat the bots themselves Right like if you if you want want it right away, then you're gonna have to pull a lot of all-nighters um, I know at some points I would have You know my phone different computers all up, you know, ready for these drops. And, and a lot of times, um, the drops wouldn't even occur when they said that they were, you know, sometimes they would say five o'clock, everyone be ready. And then it would happen randomly a few times later. So, um, yeah, it's really hard, but if you keep at it and you keep trying the multiple computers, have your card ready, I think it's possible. Um, I think they're still dropping them um, multiple times a week. So mm -hmm. it's becoming easier over time, and uh, things are definitely looking brighter. One might ask, are so the new consoles, consoles really worth so it? So the next-gen consoles truly are the next-gen. Um, and I think what was essential for them to make them these next-gen consoles is processing speed and... Um, um frames per second um but still i noticed a difference right away just the game was so much smoother faster smooth like butter. and it seems like only resellers using bots can get their hands on the new consoles what's sad is the average gamer you know that really appreciates these consoles and wants to play them they're not even able to it's these people who you know are simply looking to make money yeah. off gaming that are getting hold of them which is sad so it seems like it's basically impossible without the use of bots, but is there any way for someone who doesn't have access to them, like someone trying to buy it for a loved one or for their kid or just for themselves, is there any way for them to get a new Xbox or PS5? Well, I would say still after four months, it's still looking like you're going to have to get it off OfferUp or, mm -hmm. or Craigslist. And um, 
you know, I actually, mine, to be honest, I got it for around $375, um, only marked up $75, the Xbox Series S, um, and, uh, it was just because a guy got an extra one and he's willing to be nice and sell it for cheap. That's you know, nice. sometimes you can get lucky like that. And I would say that's your best bet. <laughs> Other than that, you know, they're still expensive. 